So what a ride. What a ride that's been. Fun one. Yeah. I'm very surprised it lasted as long as it yeah. did. That's the biggest thing with me. Like when we first came up with the idea, like, okay, let's do a horde night every night, make it a competition, and see how long it can go. Mm-hmm. I think we're all thinking 12 episodes, probably no more than Somewhere that. Somewhere in there. There's no way. No way it could go more than 12, mm. yep. 13, oh, 14 I'm, episodes. Congratulations, officially. Oh, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yep. Good job, yes. Absur. Nobody saw that coming. What a twist. <laughs> right? It sunk into me how long this has been going because I was cleaning out the Google Drive the other day. Yeah. And I was looking at how, like, we have recordings back in, like, last summer. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. No, this series is way nuts. longer. <laughs> it'll, be a, it'll be a badass supercut. Yeah. yeah, it'll be yeah. a little redundant. Yeah, no, that's that is that that's what we learned with doing this one. It's like, okay, man, sometimes, yeah, it's just we got to figure out a, a different way to do the next Horde Night Every Night series where we're going to add in. It's the cards, man. We, we got to add a twist. Yeah, and that's kind of uh, what we've been talking about on the stream is this idea. And I, I like the title. It was like, what, Seven Cards to Die? And uh, we got to figure everything out. Yeah, but. there's mm-hmm. some details to figure out, but it's definitely like a card-based, you know, whether yeah. some can be used during the day. We all have a certain amount of cards. You have and, to play and, X amount of cards, you know, and maybe or one, one card per every night. Day. We we got to yeah. figure out something those to logistics. shake it up and something to help us screw over each other and have a lot of fun. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, How about that's this? what the next series needs. What you got? Seven days to die. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal, deal with you it. You get dealt the yes. card. Oh, I like that. Man, deal with it. That deal makes me it. happy. Now, some of the card ideas were what. I mean, listen. That it depends on how we're going to structure it. So, like, the first thought I had was and we've changed it since this first thought, was uh, a case of where you get dealt a card for the day and one for the night. Like it's a random card that affects your day or your night. From a deck. So From you're a thinking deck. a lot of cards. I was thinking right. you had like just a couple. So, Well, this was his original idea. It was the Keep original. on going because I want to wrap and my head around It's like that. you ignored what I just said. All mm-hmm. right. And then we evolved into the idea of having like, okay, you've got maybe seven that you can choose from Mm -hmm. at any point, but maybe still have to use one. But something might be like maybe that Horde Knight, you can't use firearms. Right, or electricity. Yeah, or during the day, you, I don't know. Like, the ideas are endless, or they can be. Switch bases with me. Switch bases. Yeah, that's a fun, yeah, that could be a a fun idea (laughs) for You got a trash base. You got to swap bases. Yeah. Um, yeah, if and you have that and you can play that whenever you want to, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So were you also, because I know that, again, this was talked about in a few different ways. There could be seven cards that, you know, everyone's drawing from one at a time, or is it everyone gets dealt seven cards? No, you have your own hand. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So seven cards out of the gate, you would have your own hand, that you have these cards that you can play whenever you want to. And that being said, obviously, then, yeah, you got to figure it out. It might be interesting if um, you don't get dealt another seven cards until you've used all seven of the first. Ooh, so that so really... it's like you might have a shit one in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to use One that penalizes that... you. Yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that could but be. But you a... want to use it just to get it over with. It's like, I, I got to yeah, use it. Yeah. What night so do you use it? Seven. Like, yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. It's an easy night. Yeah, use a crap card. And the order of which we decide to use them is going to affect probably maybe our decision in some way. Like if, say, Simon plays a particular card, we're going to have to randomize that order too when when we play them. Because if I hear Simon use this card that does this and that, that might be the best time for me to use this card. Yeah, and you should. You say, like, okay, that player played that card, and you go, okay, my reaction yeah. is like, well, fuck you, I'm going to play this card. So the order right. of card yeah. playing... Every... You lay them down all at the same time. Boom. What's... Or there's <laughs> that. I'm playing them all. No, I think, I think the... Uh, there, that is like true. Every person lays a better down. way to or do it is that. to say you choose it, and then now you're going to flip it over so you don't get to play that. There's that too. Yeah. Man. So yeah, oh. there's, there's there's ten ways to do this. There are. And what's the most fun? Yeah, I don't know. That's that's what we're, we're going to learn discuss. a lot here. I'm going to figure it out. I've got a lot of work to do here. When we brought it up on streams, I remember the first time it ever came up. It might have been the first time it popped in my head. Um, the amount of ideas that came in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was a, it some was great ideas. Great astounding. Ideas I wrote down none of them. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? I wasn't going to re- find that well, stream. There was, right. Who was the who was the person that was? I mean, everyone and, was I know, contributing. But there was, I know there wasn't a lot in the comments, but I'm talking, there was someone that was that was, was donating to make their ideas. Yes, and actually, and a lot of them were very good. 
there were some good ones, and yeah. they don't stop. They uh, I forget who that was, and I'm, my apologies, but yeah, some of them they're doing a lot of the wordplay stuff, which is great because you picture a card and like, oh, there's this, you got that card, and mm -hmm. got a. Because when you're switching, like, because switching bases is a really good one, and obviously it's a super powerful one. Like if I know that I've been dealt this hand, mm -hmm. then it's a really good. I did okay say okay like I'm not gonna have a good base for a while because I know I'm gonna switch with somebody and if it is one death and not three that's that's an easy way to I, get somebody killed I wonder if there should be multiple switch base cards because that that could be fun if like you know all right I'm gonna switch base all right boom base there got can't switching. be just one of those someone can just say all right fine I, you just switch with me I'm gonna switch with Dora you know or I'm gonna switch back you could yeah, just I'm, do that I'm, whole I'm, thing right, screw right? It. I'll switch. yeah it's like playing Uno it's exactly like, all right, well screw you. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's a card that one that you can choose who you switch bases with, or another that's randomized. But you'd always want to go last. What? Would, it's for laying down cards. Oh, of course, you're right. And but that's so kind of the fun of the. There should be a rotation that you have to maybe stick to. I don't know. But if we like spun a wheel that showed the order, like however we reveal the order uh -huh. each night, it's like another little mini game within yeah. the game. That's I'm true. sure it would, would spin last every time. I know. <laughs> Luckiest man I've ever met. No, of course. It would work his way. We know how this goes. So spinning a wheel is the is a very or easy whatever way to that do it. randomizes it yeah. uh, every night. Yeah. It's just another little uh, you know layer to the game. Because you know, there's gonna be a lot of shit. And that's right. gotta go yeah. first. <laughs> And and that's the thing too. Well, if your original idea was one during the day and one at night, and now you go, okay, well, if we're doing, everyone gets seven. I thought it'd be nice if something did affect your day, in some way. I feel like you might get too cardy with it. I don't think you should be overcarded. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, the simplicity of like, yeah, we all have seven cards and we can play them when we when we want to play them. And like the the day cards, I didn't picture as many as what the night cards would be like day cards would potentially be um on you foot. can't yeah you can't use your vehicle today right mm, or yeah, yeah. very simple you can't go to the traders yeah melee yeah, no melee weapons day. only no trader day yeah, no trade right. right no so the, is that card that you can play on other people so if i get well, the you no trader card that's something i could play on one of you it's guys. a perfect example of how you can have two versions of that card right Right. One where you affect someone else yeah. by playing it. And yeah. So, hmm. That's why you need we need to figure out how many cards there are. You're gonna need to have I mean obviously there's gonna be doubles and stuff too, but you wanna deal everything out and then still have a good, you know, twenty five cards kind of left want over. The base of the game to be there. You wanna see who's building the base. Yeah. And what what's their strategy? You don't want to I mean if you're switching that. bases, that's a huge effect. But I, I assume maybe I, I just assume this, but I switched to base was just for that horde night, and then you went back right. to your house. Right, it was yeah, just course. that horde yeah. night. Yeah. Yes, so I'm going to switch bases with it you only for affects this that horde night. night. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then you go back to your house. Yes. Right, but if it's a it's been shitty hordes and one person has a horrible horde base. And what if you switch, so they're they're in your base, and they just kind of refuse to fight, and they just move all over your base and let it get I mean, destroyed. They can do it. They whatever they can do it. But whatever they happens. survive, yeah, and then you the come thing. back the next day to that horrible base. See, that's what yeah. makes it exciting. It's exactly. like, we yeah. can really, like, I'm going to mess I'm gonna mess up Dora's world today. Yeah. <laughs> you could be in Simon's base and be destroying his base. He's chopping it up. <laughs> but you can't do that. <laughs> that, that might be but a rule, like, we can't, can't do that. I don't know. But we you, can't do but it. But if you can lure the zombies in. Yeah. I can, you can lure the zombies in and have the zombies do all the work. Yeah, exactly. You can't do it. That's the only way to do it. But that's the thing. You still don't want to die. No, of course. I dropped down would, my... It's a risk you're oh, taking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that could work. Ooh, so yeah. What do you, what do you guys think? Okay, so when you're out there, you guys hearing this idea, those who haven't and those who have, if you have any ideas, um, throw them down there in the comments because... Yeah, man, there's some, there's a lot of room for, mm -hmm. for suggestions. Some suggestions, and we don't know when the next competition is going to be. It might be a few months, but right? Yeah, might do be a while. Right. We also, you know, we might do uh, a, a new run of Darkness Falls before we even jump into another competition. Yeah, hopefully, I think that's the plan. Well, because we want to keep Seven Days going on the channel. Oh yeah, we love regardless seven days. of yeah. what it is. Yeah, I want to play Seven Days every week, that's and one of my favorite games. And Alpha 21 is what's out right now? Yeah. Yeah, and Alpha 20, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, we want to start a new series of, you know, you know, doing Darkness Falls again, but we, one, want to wait until Alpha 22 is out, and then also potentially wait until Kane, uh, you know, has updated it. So we don't know. All and we got to do is record one or two episodes in 21, and 22 will drop. It's right. true. That's all. So we, maybe we should just right. get started. 
Yeah. That's right. how it happens. Even with like, uh, I don't know if you guys wanted to play Scorched Earth, but yeah, as soon as we started our ARC series, they dropped a new map. No, yeah, I didn't I didn't want to play Scorched no, Earth. No, fine. None of those did. Yeah. And right now, um, it looks like Fun Pimps are saying, uh, I mean, it just says Alpha 22 is going to be 2024. So that doesn't help. No, yeah. You know, but it, it also looks like, um, yeah, the big change in that is the... Um, the armors and the the character models. The character the models is a huge one. Yeah. It doesn't look like they're going with the bandits on this alpha. Yeah. We could be playing, you know. From what I understand, I think I've been told by Kane and maybe even somebody else that we could just be trying to like, volunteer to to test it. Oh, yeah, yeah but that, cool we can't really it? record it and show that. No, but at least we'd be able to know what we're talking about instead of speculating. Even though we might not be able to talk about it, it would be nice to know, wouldn't it? And I, it's also nice to be surprised, yeah, too. Surprised. Yeah, I want to be surprised. Sounds like insider trading. It yeah, does. Well, you know, I mean, we've played things before, before the people. It's weird that we don't even try to do it in seven days. <laughs> right? It is a little bit weird. You can agree with me for once. Yeah, I don't want to play I, a test version. I missed what you were talking about at first. Yeah, I Try mean, we have the opportunity to to probably be testing the betas. Here. Oh, right. Like like Kane does, I believe. Well, ask him. Yeah, um, ask him. Well, I'm I'm not gonna ask him. I was talking to you about. I'm surprised we don't do it. That's all. Kane's probably having some hardcore Neebs gaming withdrawals from us. You know, just I know. Yeah, cut yeah. him off really. We went right. Uh, I talked to him called. on occasion. He'll pop in my Discord. Okay, then never mind. He's getting his. Oh he's yeah, getting well, his drip. Yeah, he's doing good. He's still dealing drippy. with his kitties. Yeah, his cane right. and his cats. When we get to see him in August. <laughs> yes, he's gonna be at the live show. That's it's gonna be, be that's gonna be great. Cane with his cats makes me think of cute cat videos and memes that I watch on my laptop, which makes me think of clicking on this link that shows me even more cute cat videos and memes, and then bam, my online identity's been stolen all because of cute cats. That's why we all need NordVPN. Of course, because NordVPN protects your online data with top-tier encryption, setting your mind at ease. Because NordVPN hides your digital location and prevents online trackers from following you. NordVPN also blocks intrusive ads, malicious websites, and malware during downloads. So level up your network security with NordVPN. Look at it like this. Your home is safer when you keep the door locked. So why wouldn't you want to lock up your personal online data? Also, network security improves network performance. And who doesn't want that? So go to nordvpn.com slash neebs and get four extra months with a two-year plan. And try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a two-year plan plus four extra months just by going to nordvpn.com slash neebs. Thank you, NordVPN. Did y'all hear the news about my Duolingo? No. No. Oh, I figured everyone was talking about it. Nobody no. was. Um, 3,000 days. 3,000 day streak. That's a pretty big streak. Where was that? Where'd that news come up? I didn't know if it was Wall Street Journal or Facebook. Or your mouth. Twitter. That's big. 3,000 days is no fucking joke. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to see Neves uh, use a little bit of his Duolingo learning mm -hmm. last at? week. Where? We I'm had a waitress at the Mexican restaurant. Okay. And Neves was trying to order... Pulled chicken? Yeah. And she she was not getting it. Like, what do you mean? She pulled? wasn't. Pulled, I don't know the word for pulled chicken. Yeah. In Spanish. But it wasn't just me, right? She wasn't understanding what I was saying. No, no, not at all. And I was like, because I, I hate to to switch to Spanish on someone. Why? If, if they speak English. Okay. It could, I think it could maybe be insulting. Like, wait, is my English not good enough? You know? Maybe you should just right. learn. A co I mean, you know how to say it, but like. Do you mind if I practice my Spanish? Just that, say that. That'd be a great. Well, because you're doing horribly right now. <laughs> I mean, whatever the case is. She would, I think she would have known. But yeah. No, she seemed surprised, though. Like once she started speaking, she was like, oh, you speak all Spanish. Yep. But yeah, uh, yeah. I got to learn the word pulled chicken. And you know what? These Spanish people, they got to get their act together. Oh, boy. Because every single country has different words for like, I know. We have different words, some from we're, England. We're very confused. In Australia. Sure. But not like these people. <laughs> really? Like they'll, I feel like everything they disagree on. Socks are media, socks are calcetines, you know, like any, almost anything you bring up, like, no, well, it depends on which country. And there's like a bunch of them. Because there's yeah. only, what, there's only a handful of English speakers. They need countries. to accept, you just got to accept it across the board and be like, oh, yeah, it's from that country. Right. We'll accept that as but well. But when you're trying to learn. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's, it's got to be frustrating. And you don't live in a – like if I just lived in Argentina course, and yeah. I just focused on that, but I'm like learning – Spanish from everybody all around the world. Right. <laughs> they just got to accept what they're getting out of your mouth. You know? They're getting yeah. a mutt. Yeah. But I could say pulled chicken from okay. Argentina, and she's from wherever, mm-hmm. Mexico. And she's like, I don't know what you're saying. Did you try speaking in English? <laughs> Many, yeah. Oh, yeah. We started <laughs> with that. started with English. She started saying, can I have pulled chicken? And she went, what? <laughs> she, well, yeah. Yeah. Como? Then barbecue chicken? Like nothing. She was like, she didn't understand. Because no, normally just regular grilled chicken comes with that. There was like no response. No, she just said, yeah. pulled chicken. Gotcha. Yeah. And I was even doing like a like a pulling motion. How'd that work? Yeah. <laughs> that word word. She had no chicken. clue. Yeah, I don't know. Pulling this chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at him like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, but nobody heard about the 3,000 days and congrats. Well, folks, and if you haven't heard the news already, yeah. 3,000 days. That's uh, not fluent yet. It's no joke. <laughs> it's very hard to learn a language. When you don't have someone not, in your life teaching you. When right. you're not immersed yeah. in it. Yeah. Like yeah. even if you just had a Spanish-speaking parent that you could converse oh my with God, every day. Yeah. Even if as an adult you didn't learn it and you went, back, all right, let's, let's spend two hours speaking Spanish. That'd yeah. be a huge help. And I got a buddy downtown when he's drunk, he'll start speaking in Russian. Oh, yeah. To you? Yeah. To just anyone, man. Like, he's such a nut when he starts kind of like getting pass outy, you know? <laughs> it's time. Like, well, he just thinks, like, just, time to start busting yeah, out and my nobody, Russian. Nobody can communicate with him. You no. just kind of know exactly where. Uh, where he's at. Yeah. That's an odd <laughs> thing to bust out. Like, it is. Oh, I'm getting drunk. Time to switch can, to Russian. He can well, speak he a few know. languages. He's, he's hammered, he's, like, though, right? he, so. Man, he's, <laughs> he's something. Yeah. It's just funny. Like, who are you talking to, dude? Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of Neves Gaming community on Duolingo. Like, I see their comments. Oh, it's awesome. Like, there'll be people like, hey, 3,000 days, celebrated, whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh, fun. You got, like, friend, partner, uh, I guess, uh, Quest, where you and, like, Sledge Monkey and I are doing right now. Where he's doing lessons and I'm doing lessons, yeah. and it, we once we hit our goal, we get like, whatever Duolingo currency or That's something. That's really <laughs> smart of Duolingo to do to like add that incentive and that fun, you know, communal community yeah, side gamify of it. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Uh, how sure. much how much Duolingo currency do you currently have, and what can you spend it on? Oh, uh, you know me. When it I know, comes yeah, to you apps, never spend this shit. I'm always loaded. Right, it's Camel so, Cash. So I actually spent some Chick Fil A like points Steam the other cash day. Where you can get really cool stuff from Steam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I spend it all the time. Uh, it's great. Yeah, I can't keep it in my wallet. Well, listen, when I start <laughs> <laughs> burning that hole, the fuck, man. <laughs> when I started Duolingo, I mean, this was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long yeah. Time. Like they didn't really have this worked out yet. I was making money. I was like, what do I spend this on? Right, like, I've already got all the, it. the it's jackets for my hours. Right. Huh? Yeah, it's probably uh, eight years is the yeah. math. Pretty close. I've got 38,439 uh, gems or whatever it is. Can't do right. shit so with. What can you buy with that? Well, you do these like timed lessons, and sometimes you run out of time. It's like, ah, crap. If I had a few more seconds, then it like it will st- extend your time. Oh, so you can use the gems? It's to... not necessary. Right. right. So you could like pretend that you did better than you did? Um, to get XP points to whatever. Yeah, exactly. If you care about that Weird. stuff. I don't right. care about you it. Don't care. Yeah, we're gamers. Of course we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, also speaking to an audience that <laughs> also when you like <laughs> they understand when the you make mistakes XP. on lessons, you like lose a heart. If you lose five hearts, you're not like able to I don't know. Do, do certain you. lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can buy it. you yeah. can buy your hearts back. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend just using Duolingo to learn no. a language. You got to have audio lessons and hopefully it's someone to speak to. But it's a nice little foundation to get you <laughs> yeah. just, I don't know, a little bit more confident in the, in the in core a, of the language. In a way to do it every day because if I don't have a chance to listen to a lesson or talk with someone, I can just go, okay, let me just spend a couple of minutes yeah. doing this. Have you signed on to this Duolingo thing just because you don't want to stop doing it? Or would you transfer power over to another app? If I was fluent, I would stop. Okay, well, that's probably not going to happen. Okay. It might happen if you get immersed in it. But would you ever dump Duolingo for another app? All the street? Would that be important compo- to me? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. like, I could see I you see being like, I want to stick with this because I've done it for so long. How could I stop? But you could stop if you find another app that you think works better. Yeah. yeah. A, and like I you said, I, I get, are, you, are you still gleaming knowledge from it? My gleaming knowledge? Yeah. I've are never you, used gleaming like okay, that. Okay. Are you still never, gaining knowledge from it? Gleaming? Anyone else? Yeah. Listen, gleaming I don't, the cube. So we're gleaming. That's a that's All an right. 80s reference. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. I'm still learning new things, new ways to conjugate ver- yeah. verbs I don't know before. You learned yeah. gleaming today. Yeah. In never going to use that. Imagine, <laughs> imagine there's probably like 10 different ways to say gleaming. Yeah. 
I, I figured gleaming was like, man, that person's gleaming. They just had some I mean, chicken piccata. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm making up a word, but I feel like I'm going to look it up now. You're probably right. Because I it, feel like I've, I've used gleaming. You grew up is around it, educated is people. Is it gleaming so. or gleaming? No, gleaming the cube was like a reference to like skate. That was a skate I never movie, knew what that it? meant. I don't gleaming. think it means you're gaining the cube. I don't think so. I don't, never knew. It was a really weird title. Gleaming Let's to me it. It. Yeah. means like exhilarated kind of or yeah. like something it, positive, full of energy, but like, yeah, happiness. That, that, that movie okay, yeah, title. I'm, I'm completely. I'm saying ahead. gleaming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Glean. Gleaning. Gleaning is what I meant to say. Yeah. Do we gleaning? need that word? Gleaning do we, knowledge. Do we need that? What is no, gleaning? No, I don't even think oh, yeah. gleaning is the word. I think it's just glean. You glean knowledge. We so have are you absorb. Glean? You we absorb can, knowledge. We can go glean. ahead and cut that word out of. Go the, ahead and erase that language. one. Right. Yeah. It is not necessary. There's a lot. We've of already covered necessary words. What that word means. Yeah. Look, the I gleaming like, of a smooth surface is a, a surface that's reflecting light, typically because it's a very glowing. clean or polished, like a bowling ball. Yeah. What did Ada say the other day? She used a word that was so <laughs> fucking right. out of control, and she's like, "Well, what, am I, what else am I going to say?" And it was just like, "We just said the whatever the common word was that yeah. very easily replaced uh, it." Because uh, yeah. I think you, you said none of us, all, all of us were like, "What does that mean?" And she said the other word, and we're like, "Okay, well, that word." Yeah, you could have used that. That's fine. <laughs> Let's use that one, the yeah. one that everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> right, because not anyone got what No one you remembers said. what word it was? Not one no. person. I don't remember. I feel like we were rolling. Like, it's probably on... Yeah, it might exist. On some audio somewhere yeah. yep. in between scenes. <laughs> and then she does listen to the show, so maybe she'll remind us. Yeah, it was funny. I'd love to have that clip. Yeah, God. Hit her watch, up. watch everybody know the word except for just the people in this room. Probably, yeah. Well, one thing I do know is that the number one powdered hydration brand in America is Liquid IV. He won't shut up about it. Why would I? It's my go-to. If I know I haven't been drinking enough water that day, bam, I grab it. I know if I'm having some alcoholic drinks that night, I make sure I hydrate myself more because that's just going to help me the next day. So I grab it. A single stick of liquid IV makes ordinary hydration extraordinary. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. I mean, I feel like I'm doing myself a favor every time I use liquid IV. And they've got sugar-free flavors too. They've got white peach, green grape, strawberry lemonade, lemon lime. Come on, you got choices. And it's easier than ever to stay hydrated while traveling. You got those little packs there. You just rip the top off, pour it in a cup, and move on, baby. And with a zero sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners and clinically tested to hydrate more than water alone. So turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV and get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use code NEEBS at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code NEEBS at liquidiv.com. Uh, I met Bert, Bert Kreischer last night. Oh, Who's did you? I met him. Yeah. 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 Where was he at? Is that the shirtless comic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tom Segura's boy. Um, Where'd you meet him? Well, I, I took my, because last night just felt amazing. It was a nice, nice subtle. Oh, yeah. Weather was beautiful. Yeah, it was here. it was perfect. And beautiful. I was like, I jumped on my bike and I went downtown and met up with Bobby and some friends and stuff like that. And he so had I'm, a show in town. I'm, yeah. He performed at Dead Crow Comedy on Tuesday night. Sold out like immediately, right? They were getting some like he's he he can draw a huge crowd. Huge crowd. That's a small place. It, it didn't even make sense that he you know he snuck it in for yeah. whatever reason. I think Estekia tried to get tickets and they were immediately oh, sold. Oh yeah. yeah, we were, were both done. looking for him and and like it did crash the site, so he was like gave up on that shit. But uh, I was biking past Dead Crow and they've got like nice big um, windows in the front and 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 I saw. I just looked in. There's Bert Kreischer at the bar, and then I saw like um, there was probably three or four people around him. It was oh, a, no shit. Yeah, so I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go in and get a drink." <laughs> you know, I'm gonna yeah, go yeah, grab a well. drink on my way. And um, he looked like just exhausted. And I guess he had stayed and uh, was watching improv night there. You know what I mean? Oh, His yeah. bus was parked out front, and um, yeah, he was just. I don't know, for whatever reason, had that little break in his tour, had a, another night. I guess he was wandering around downtown yesterday, went to like Barbary Coast and stuff like that. But uh, I said, hey, yeah, hey, I missed your show. Good to meet you. My dad's name was Bert. That's all I got for you. <laughs> 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 that was also very nice. He seemed sweet. He was really uh, nice with the, That's cool. the peeps and stuff. But yeah, that was it. That's good. Got to meet him. Didn't get to see him. But yeah, Tom Segura is like clearly the, 
he's a funny one. And I see. <laughs> I personally, listen. I I I like them both. I do but too. I really like listening to him talk. Like I I'll, I did too with their podcast. Like their podcast's I see, good. I see clips of that all the time because it knows what to feed me. Because mm-hmm. if I stop and see him, and uh, I also love his uh, Tom Segura's wife. Yeah, I think she's, that she's she's great something. Too. She's so a sass. I see, yeah, she's got her like something mom's podcast or whatever. But she's a great stand up comedian. Funny. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen one. Oh, she, I think she only has one special. It's really funny. But uh, but you gotta like her, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Bert. Yeah, you know, and I thought that he did a really good. Like he had a show like in, up in the cabin or something. Yeah, I love that. He, I like that. A show. Really good show. I thought like, so. Yeah, and I and I respect for the movie. Yeah, that uh, the Russian movie thing. That I mean, it was uh, to me, it wasn't like a fucking phenomenal movie, but it was. Yeah, I didn't it watch a, that. It was fun. Yeah, it was a fun ride, all done on, on a stand up bit that hmm. I thought was a really funny story. Yeah, that apparently he sold it. The way he sold that was. He had a meeting with um, whatever whatever fucking movie studio, and he had three ideas, and the guy behind it, uh, you know, whatever the executive was like, was like, all right, well, I want to do one of them, you know, so you pick one, because we can only do one, so which one yeah. do you want to do the most? And he goes, well, I don't want to do any of these. And he's like, which one do you want to do? <laughs> and he goes, well, the one I want to do is about the Ru- Russian mafia, but I'm pretty sure if I made the movie that they would hunt me down and kill me, and he goes, sold. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, "What?" He's like, "That's the movie I want to make." He's like, right. "You want to make that movie? Let's do it." And that's how that movie was made. It make about make, the machine. What's the movie called? The machine. The, the machine. machine. Okay. Yeah, and it's a story about him going to uh, like Russia, I don't know, whether it was a school trip or wherever, however it was, and then somehow he got like involved in this like wild story that involved the Russian mafia. All right, fun. And it's like you can find I don't know how much of the stand up. Special is I haven't about heard that, that but bit it's in named a while, the machine. Yeah. All right, interesting. Yeah, Let's and he's been up. telling the story for years. Long time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I might watch it. I probably won't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I don't he's watch likeable. a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think he's a likable dude. Yeah. Anyway, so that's interesting. It's fun that we get good music acts and yeah. comedians yeah. in this yeah. little fucking town. Because sure. last year we saw uh, Tignataro at, at Dead, 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 Dead One, and now I think that. A lot of stuff she was doing then is on her new special on oh, Amazon or whatever. Did that just drop? Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. I got to check that Ooh, out. That's yeah. fun. Like when we saw Bargazzi, yeah. um, you knew that stuff was going to be on his next special. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's always kind of fun to, I don't know, see how it's evolved maybe. Comedians like to run stuff by us first. <laughs> they yep. do. Right. They do. Speaking of Amazon, looks like they got a new hit. What? Fallout? Fallout. Oh, I heard. I didn't watch it, though. Yeah. You guys were enjoying it. I've watched, yeah, I watched yeah. two, um, what, it came out last night when we were recording this. I watched two episodes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. It's like, if you're going to do a Fallout show, it's a pretty good way to do it. Very like true the to the style. game. Yeah, exactly. The style is the game. I was like, damn, they stayed so fucking true to the game. It's pretty fucking awesome. All right. I'm watching these series, like, I've never played, uh, what was the last series with Pascal? Um, oh, the Last da- of Us. Yeah, Last of Us. I never really yeah. played that game. Yeah. So I just got to watch it as a as a movie. Yeah. And Fallout, I've never really yeah you've spent never much time it. on that either. Right. Yeah. So to it's me, all just a new story to me. <laughs> to me, watching the show, I, I had the same feeling that I have in the game, where I'm just like, all right, let's let's get out of the vault, right? We can leave the vault Not now. Yet. Oh, we got to stay in the vault. We're doing the marriage thing. Okay, cool. Can we go? Can we leave the vault? <laughs> you didn't even want to give it an episode. No. Like, I don't know. Should the have vault. opened with you. Open in the vault. That's <laughs> scene one. I need to know what's going on. I don't know the story <laughs> no, of Fallout. See, that's I a, enjoyed that's it. That's the thing. It's a thing in the game, too. It's like yeah. you spend the first maybe two hours in the vault getting to know everybody and getting the story rolling. Right. And I'm always just like, oh, I just want to, I want Fuck nothing more here. than to get out into the open world yeah. and explore and see what's out there get because the that's where the interesting shit is. Yeah. 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 Well, but, yeah. And then once she's out of the vault, I'm like, all right, now I'm, I'm in. This is a this fun show now. Do and, you play as a, sorry, Simon, no. as a female character in you the can. game? It's one of those games oh, where you, you, create, you create your own character. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I like her. Yeah. She's great. Who is it? Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't know. Big eyes. Big eyes. Yeah. yeah so big eyes. She looks like a cartoon character. But not the big eyes from. You know, when I think big eyes, no, now you say that. Eyes. Another big eyes? She's not a known I've never big seen eyes, her. so no. I don't know. A new big yeah. eyes? New, it's, yeah, a brand new <laughs> yeah. big eyes. This one's Emma a Stone is big eyes, right? Not, no, no, no. She has big eyes. No, I'm picturing she's the, that the chick that say. was in the, the chess show and that's in it, like yeah, everything else. Oh, and she's oh, in Dune. Fury, uh, yeah, Furiosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can't she's like big eyes. She is big eyes. Yeah. Huge eyes. But Baby Billy's in it. Baby Billy. Oh, I love that. 
Yeah, cool. Good for him. Cool. He's entertaining as fuck. Yeah, you, you had mentioned one thing that kind of annoyed you, which was in the beginning of uh, the series. Like, why didn't anyone see that flash? I don't want to get into uh, yeah. whatever. But I mean, yeah, when the first bomb drops, there's only one little girl notices the flash, and she's at like a party. And I'm like, everyone would have turned around at that flash because it's a nuclear bomb being dropped. Yeah, which is weird. But like the baby Billy thing, which kind of made me go, and I don't know what episode, whenever they, sh- whenever they showed him, might have been in the second episode. But when the guys kind of came up to his character and they want to talk to him, you know, they resurrect him. Right. That and you go scene like, how could... the fuck are these guys like? They're just like, you need to be a lot more careful with this thing. That, that they scene just... could have gone. Hell yeah. That you could have cut that entire scene and the show would not have suffered for it. And you know who the guy better. in that was? Uh, I think the guy from Bubba, Bubba Gump. Bubba Shrimp. Hotep. Oh, was it? Oh, was that him? Mind. Anyway, anyway, yeah, it just happens to be, in, uh, you know, the, the, the character that was in Forrest Gump. That little was black little dude? Up, yeah. yeah Bubble Don't see him in hardly, at least I hardly see him in anything. He happened to have a good scene in that. Too bad it was, I was critiquing the scene. Man, how much yeah. does he get? He make money? No, he can't make money from that because it's not his character. They don't use his likeness at the restaurant. The I'm restaurant? Sure. No. That's probably because that's the, all just. The, it's yeah. just the, all. That's the writer. The, yeah. yeah. Yep. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So he yeah. talks. He doesn't talk like Bubba Gump in this series. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you know what? No, he was also... almost. It was almost too corny. Like his scene was way too corny. Especially following. What? There's a scene before it that is so serious, and the actors are playing it so straight. And I'm like, man, this is great. And then it cut. You know, it goes from them being like, "Are you gonna join the Brotherhood? Are you gonna do what it takes?" And he's like, "Yes, sir." It's like, "All right, let's go." And then we gotta go dig up a guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow. Dude, tonal, the tonal it's shift. It's just like my character in that Well Wishes movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that Hans? Totally. Hans. It was so different. That's, that was, that's a director issue. The director should have been like, "No, hey guys, yeah. tone down the country oh, it's a director accent issue. shit." Yeah. Shit. We know what this is cutting to. That's not gonna work. <laughs> the insecure director. I don't I don't want to tell it, him. I don't yeah. like oh, it. Oh, God. He's he a was big in Force Gump. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Starstruck right now. Yeah. But overall, Fallout's, uh, Fallout's pretty, pretty good. Thank you to our sponsor, Yahoo Finance. And they allow you to see all of your investment and retirement accounts in one place. Because with Yahoo Finance, you can consolidate your views from multiple accounts into one hub and access the expert analysis you need to tend to your entire portfolio with confidence. Because if you want to grow your portfolio to deal with the rising cost of inflation, to pay off your debt or your mortgage, pretty much anything standing in the way of you and financial freedom, then Yahoo Finance can get you access to the news, data, and tools that you need in order to help you reach that financial freedom. Whether you have a lot of experience investing and you might be looking for extra guidance or if you don't know anything about it, Yahoo Finance gives you all the tools and data you need in one place. So for comprehensive financial news and analysis, visit the brand behind every great investor, yahoofinance.com, the number one financial destination, yahoofinance.com. Yeah. All right. And man, yeah, what a like this is crazy. It's like this video game show movie renaissance we're in. And I think mm-hmm. it, The Last of Us kind of kicked it off because it did it right. I mean, let's face it though, you know, because like all these regurgitated, recycled ideas that have existed, and with the amount of like good content story wise that yeah. has existed in the video right. game world, exactly. like it's there. why not tap it's into like, it? Okay, it's this is an IP that perfect. people already know. Of we course. can adapt it for the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Last been, of Us was great, and then the Mari movie came along and made like billions of dollars. So now, like everyone's kind of tuned in of like, oh shit, there's a lot of good stories. And who forget Doom with with the Rock? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I know, it was so long ago. <laughs> what a piece of shit. That's the thing. They've tried to do video game movies for a long time. Mortal Kombat. It's so rare they actually get it right. Like, yeah. The first Mortal Kombat, mm-hmm. even like it's okay, but it's trash. The first They're Mario corny, was. Yeah. Abysmal! Oh my God, that's the yeah, well, shot in this town, by the yes, way. If, shot in Wilmington, yeah, North shot Carolina. In, right here, John what you, Linguizamo. What do you think of the good ones? The good video game movies? Yeah. Or, well, now it's like shows. Like the Last of yeah, Us. Yeah, it's all shows. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. And Mario, for what it was, was good. I mean, it's clearly aimed at children, but of yeah. course it is. It's Mario. Fallout's good so far. Fallout's good so far. Just the style of it and everything. It's like, yeah, we, we're in this kind of rare moment. We're like, oh shit, video game movies and shows are. What's the other shooter good. that they're gonna? Do, the one with the little robot box and Borderlands. Borderlands. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna be, but that yeah. looks interesting. I haven't seen Halo, but I've heard people say they like it. I've heard, yeah, I've the heard mixed. Too, yeah. Yeah. A lot of mixed on that. Probably depends on how much you like Halo. Right. 
Well, if you like Halo a lot, I, I kind of have heard. Oh yeah, because of uh, Tarn. you kind of got that review on um, Dungeons and Dragons. Because I don't play Dungeons that and Dragons. That is a great which, movie. Which I finally watched. And I liked it. Yeah, I that, thought was, it was that was a, a fun really movie. fun yeah. movie. Yeah. I went in there with really you know mediocre expectations. Me too. Good mm-hmm. trailer. I wasn't like low, but I'm like, all right, let's see how they yeah. fuck this one up. It's funny. <laughs> and yeah, all the it way through, funny. I was entertained. Yeah, good characters, but good effects. But oh, if you're ahead. like, I've heard people that are really in Dungeons and Dragons, they were kind of upset because they didn't maybe follow certain things. <laughs> Dude, it, which is always going to happen. People that are upset with the dune movies that are dune whores you know mm, what i mean right. like you know I, I, think I wish they would have done this with that but yeah. like if you're making a <laughs> feature out of like a yep. massive <laughs> epic book <laughs> it happens especially like if you read the books or something then you go in yeah. and see the movie you, you know you can't be this that happened to me on what the martian yeah yeah because i had read that book oh loved yeah the book you got expectations yeah exactly. they didn't meet them oh man i can't wait to see the movie and like yeah it's just like man this just doesn't doesn't yeah, the vibe is the same as the book did. I could have swore I don't remember the jokes, but in Dungeons and Dragons, there was at least one or two times I was like, "Did they see Duralius?" Right? <laughs> like I don't remember what the gags were. Oh, you know but what? But like I would never rule that out as a possibility for writers and shit. No, like if, you, if you're a nerd and you write like fans and shit, like yeah. I don't remember what it was. I'd have to rewatch it. But I was like, "There's a." Just a ch- there's a chance. Oh yeah, small t- <laughs> tiny chance. Mm-hmm. But, chance they thought I would. Yeah, I can bring it. Who the fuck knows? That fat dragon just. I, I laughed through the whole thing, that, man. That was great. Yeah, fat, fat dragon's dragon funny. was great. <laughs> Chubby dragon. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. just a fat dragon. That yep. was a good surprise. There was some good laughs in that. I know. It was. Yeah, I, 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 they better make another one of those because I like those characters. Mm-hmm. I, I assume it did fine. You would hope so. Yeah. Here, we'll see. Oh, did you guys see the trailer for uh, Joker? I did. Mm-hmm. That looks all right. It actually does. I was like, damn, okay. It like, makes me want to see the first one. I saw So you it still yesterday. haven't seen the first one? Nope, still okay. haven't. But I would, and I've always kind of considered it, but I want to be in the right like frame of mind. Yeah. It's not the kind of thing you want to watch like before you go no, to it's bed depressing when you're buzzing. Film. I mean, yeah, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck. Yeah. And yeah, the angle of which their relationship seems to, um, I don't know, inspire... Uh, what they become like yeah it just seems like an yeah the trailer did it was a it was, it was a, a good impressive tra- trailer yeah, it's just a oh, good yeah. trailer it made mm-hmm. me intrigued yeah and, exactly uh, I mean, yeah lady gaga is harley quinn like all right didn't Fuck see yeah. that coming but okay yeah she's a good actress she yeah. can pull up she can sing and i know it's a lot of the movie is supposed to be a musical really, really? yeah oh what have you seen her acting i love that wasn't she in that oh well, yeah the was, whole star is born yeah oh you saw she, that no Oh, it, which I is really think good. Watch that. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and she did a great job in that. So she can sing, she can act. Sure. Otherwise, she make her make her Harley Quinn. And even in the trailer, I was already endeared her. Like, you know, I was like, okay, she's yeah, she's gonna put a good performance in. I watched a documentary about her. I forget what it's called, but like a few years back about the old the saga Gaga. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I might have brought this up before, but she uh, to me she came across a, a bit of I don't know, kind of a diva like yeah. Well, like you could imagine being in that world too. I mean, of course, cursed, but, but yeah, you know. But yeah. a bit of a diva, or like seem yeah, like know. a fucking douche, just kind of, kind of douchey. Yeah, a slight douchey. Yeah. yeah, and we're but look at fucking. You see, um, and hear stories about, and not like I know her, but but from friends that that uh, toured and opened up for Taylor Swift. You know, my Gosson friends that were in Gloriana. Who can and vouch for how sweet she was? Mm-hmm. Right, like you know, if if Taylor Swift can be still nice and not a douche, <laughs> to, right? Yeah, know, I'd, I'd have to like see your Gaga can too. You know example. what I mean? I yeah. know we don't know them. Yes, but yeah, I mean you catch one, you catch somebody in a bad day. Yeah, yeah. It's like man, I got time to deal with you right now. I'll bet Swift's nicer than Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> nice off. It's a nice off it's right nice now. Off. Yeah. No, I'm such nicer. a big fan of hers. Like, it doesn't even have to be her Swift. music. I don't know why. It's like, I think she's great. Yeah. She's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, worried. I'm gonna, not worried about it. I'm not worried she's anymore. I, I was. So, content warning has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Agreed. What a wonderfully unique game that is in its idea and execution. The concept's great. I've been thinking about it. I was actually thinking about that. Um, earlier i still i like that that came out i still prefer lethal company i think so i, I think uh lethal company has the planets that's just the it's got a little bit more engagement with the different planets you can go to and i think if i feel like you see different monsters yeah and, and it's it's got the simplicity of just go in and get shit and come back 
uh, content warning, like when you're playing at a level, you kind of got to think about it a little bit. Yeah. And it's also the level is always the same. There is no other planet you can go to. Yeah. Um, I guess as you go, as you make money, which we never do because we suck at it. Yeah. But you get to see more shit, crazier levels, crazier shit as you earn money. And like, I want to see some more path. shit. The shit that we saw that last time. And I don't know if that video will be out yet. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, it might be it out. Cage be. monster yeah. or something. That cage yeah. thing. Yeah, that was that that's probably a, came out last weekend. Gotcha. That's a fun idea. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, couldn't figure there it out. There seem to be but... some really cool monsters in there. Yeah, but I love yeah being able. What a reward though for every level you play, being able to watch it back. Agreed. I'm sick of like, seeing the snail, dude. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit over but that. Yeah, we're playing. We're early. Yeah. I know yeah, we're, we're early. early. Yeah, yeah, that's only you we know, can play. What I what I love about it is the movie, right? So. Like immediately, I'm going like, all right, well, it'd be great if we could just make a game. But now the 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 game is called blah 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 film festival, and your goal is to go out into this you know virtual kind of wacky world, yeah, and make films. Try to and create stuff. a narrative, yeah, yeah, because I mean that is the the funnest part of it, and then you know figure out how to make the challenges along the way. And what's funny is like I don't know how many people go in to make short films like we do in this game, or if they just go film watched, the monsters, yeah, but. Years ago, when we all got together, and mm-hmm. before digital editing, mm-hmm. uh, before it was common that people had their own at home, um, we had di- like digital tape cameras, yep. and we would like do tests to go, how long is it from the time I push the button to it's actually recording? Yeah, and it was mm-hmm. usually a slight yeah. and we couple would, like, second delay. We'd get like a camera and just start counting as soon as we hit it, like yeah. one, two, yeah. three, four, and then like play the footage right, back, play it and back, it goes, yeah. and the first, it's the first thing you hear, but the first thing you hear is four, like, okay. So when I hit record, yeah. I'll, I'll say when I hit record on yeah. four, you act. Yeah, you know? exactly. And I would like film Dralis' lines and yeah. cut, hit hit record on Simon. He would wait till four, then deliver his line. All edited yep. in camera. In camera yeah. editing. We so, called One Take Wonders. Yep. And yep. we shot a bunch of those. And Tons this of is that. <laughs> yeah. This is that. And you would think that we'd be better at it. God, yeah, you we guys really so sucked. Like, awful. I was trying to get some shit going. Well, we not very good air. direction. Not yeah, very good yeah, direction for know. you. We I didn't know really... where exactly to walk I don't know. to. Maybe come you didn't to give me. A mark. I was come... next to you. I was All behind right. you. I don't want to start this right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to go anywhere. Right also, now. we didn't time the camera to know. No, we did not time it. It starts immediately. Yeah, no, yeah, that and, camera's instant. And how often I would fucking just be like, I know I have Yelling to say action, action, action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I've hit it action. already. Yeah, I just go oh. action first, then hit it. We're out. We're out of training. Like we haven't done it a minute. We're rusty. So it's not your fault. <laughs> we're That's rusty. A, yeah, so, Washed up. That's what makes that game so damn fun. It is fun to just like, hey, let's try to make some stupid movie, <laughs> and then you get to watch it at the end. And you watch it all go to shit because yeah. Neebs gets blown up. And man, the the um, to not get something that you know's got some good shit in it back to the ship. Oh yeah. right, yeah. oh yeah. that's a hit. Then, yeah. but then you're on the edge of the seat when one person's alive and they're hanging oh, on by a thread right. and they're yeah. trying to get out with the camera. Yeah, you're just like, go get out, just just don't lose your way. I think and I was it, yelling. I was yelling at one of you. I think it might have been Neves. It was, it was the last one left, and like I knew the way out, and I was like, go left, go left, just damn it, go left. That might have been. Was that the last recording? Yes. I think that was Simon. Might have been, yeah. Well, yeah. well, I think it was you, too. I think it was probably Oh, really? Both of, both yeah. of us. <laughs> and you can see how much air is on the back of their tank. In right. Their... <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, it's an interesting concept. They, yeah. Bravo to them for... Yeah, it's a great idea. And and they had, yeah. like, what a great idea, because on April Fool's, they just, like, released the game for free. Cool. They're like, it's April Fool's. We're just, put, we're just throwing our game out there. This is content warning. They had six million downloads. Wow. Six million people got wow. with that game. Damn. They were like, I wish I'd have char- charged like 50 cents or something. <laughs> they exactly. wouldn't have gotten the exposure <laughs> right. without doing that. But because they did that and people played it, of course, people shared it. It's like, go oh, fuck. You got to see this game. And we're, yeah. we're doing it. So yeah. they're going to make their money back because people are going to see the videos and everything. They're going to want to play that with their friends because yeah. it is a fun fucking game. Mm-hmm. Of course. And we had mods set up. So that we were going to have, I guess, higher quality of a few different image things. Image. Lengthening and, and image yeah. and lengthening of the amount of time. Then I guess my computer wouldn't wouldn't work. I think the big thing that was going to, outside of a little bit of a graphical upgrade, was the emotes. Um, and they kind of sucked. The dances? Yeah, I mean, the emotes, we didn't, none of us were really, really happy with any of them. Yeah. They I do like, I like how floppy the characters are. Yeah, yeah. Like buying the self, but yeah, none of the emotes were like, oh, they that's weren't. a great emote. Yeah, none yeah. of them. Yeah. That could be fixed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. to me, it's the the fact that you get to film something, whatever it is, 
and that's as good as like the environment that they give you. You know, if we could have a game that you could film things and then go and sit down on a stupid little couch and watch it on a little TV Genius. screen. Yeah. That's fucking, that makes it. Yeah. That's a good idea. Happy to get a couple of those in. Hell yeah. Planet Crafter. Like, uh, I went over to Aztecia's place. Uh, she's got, she got an addiction. She does. She oh, I've seen it. it. <laughs> I've seen it at the computer behind mine in here. That's right. She was playing it here in the office. She That's can't true. hide it. Yeah. She had it on the side. She was like working. And then Planet Crafters just running on the side. She'll dip in there. It's like, okay, I got to update, you know, change out my plants. It says a lot about Pan Planet Crafter, though. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, about it was neat watching her screen because it is crazy how different that planet looks when you really start. Super vibrant. Mm -hmm. You're playing, you know, trees, butterflies, animals. You're like, God damn. That's awesome. This is cool. That's cool. It is cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, that's a great game. Hey, listen, if y'all do want to check out Planet Crafter, go to our video and click on the link. Oh, yeah. There you go. There yeah, you let's go. make yes, this work that. for that's us. Right. Yeah, ending on whoring ourselves out. Well, wait, that's what, yes. Yeah. That works out nice. It's Hell the last yeah. thing in their mind right now. Click like that it. link. Boom, and thank you for listening. We love you. We All do. Right. See you. Bye.